This is an occasion for all the Hindus, wherever they are, Indians in particular, to do Devi Puja. We call it Navaratra. It is called Dashera also, ten days. In the north of India, you will find this is considered to be Durga Puja. But in the south, it is done and the, as the Saraswati Puja. A worship offered to Goddess Saraswati. Goddess Saraswati is the goddess of learning. Shankaracharya has written a beautiful poetry on the goddess. If you understand it, your life is safe. Your connection with God will remain ever unbroken. Prithivyam putraste janani bhagavasandhi sarala param desham madhye viralataraloham tavasudaha madhiyoyam tyagaha samujitam idam no tavashive kuputro jayeda kojitabi kumada nabhavadi My dear children and also elders, I don't know when exactly I spotted this verse. It must have been several decades earlier. Ever since I spotted this wonderful sloga, I learned it. It was in my mind. What does it make you? It makes you fearless. It makes you confident. Like Himalayas and Mount Meru. You feel God is with me. I am with God. God is with me. We have an inseparable relationship. Like that of a child with its mother. So here, in this particular verse, the prayer goes in this way. My dear mother, Prithivyam putraste janani bhagavasanti sarala In the whole of this wide earth, you have a number of children. All of them are good, noble, very kind, very qualitative. They have very good qualities and virtues. All of them. All of them. But amongst them, there is one person who does not have any quality or virtue. That is myself. My dear mother, this is a fact. When I look at me, I find that I have so many defects, so many wrongs. Many things unacceptable to people. So I am full with all these defects. But all the other children of yours are very blessed, very good, very noble. So what is my plight? They are very close to you. You will bless them naturally. Whereas, with the same standard, you cannot think of me and bless me because I am very, very bad, ignoble. I agree that I am ignoble. But my mind refuses to stop there. I think a little more. What is that? Madhiyoyam tyagaha samuchidam idam no tavashive I agree that I am wrong. I should be thrown away. I agree. I am so bad, so sinful, so immoral. But, but, but. What is that but? I am still your child, your son. When I look into myself, I have never known about my birth. I have never sought it. I have never wanted a birth. Somehow I have been born. I was born from where? From you. So you have shaped me in your womb and you have bred me after I was born. So everything so far as I am concerned is from you, of you, by you, and for you. Where am I without you? When I start thinking in this manner, can you abandon me, saying that I am wrong? 
How did the wrong in me come? You have delivered me. You could have delivered a better child. All the others are good, you say, but I alone am like a black spot, wrong. But still I am born of you. I have no other source. Because I am born of you, nobody can say, I am somebody else's. I am the same God's, whose all other children are good. The one amongst them is bad. Just like they were born of you, I am also born. So as mother you are equal to us. And as a mother you are so. You are very auspicious, very kind, very loving. Never known to abandon your children. Suppose you say, no, no, you are not like that. You are very bad. So I should keep you away. It is all right so far as I am concerned. But it does not become of you. Because you are universal in your affection. Universal in your love. Universal in your protection. You cannot say, all the rest are good. You are bad. Therefore I abandon you. I may be deserving abandonment from you. But from your side it is not right. It will be inappropriate. 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 Whom are you abandoning? Your own son. Why did you not make him better? Why did you not deliver a better son? After having delivered him, looked after him, still you say I am bad. From where has my bad, badness come? See, you can talk to the mother like this, feel like this. And he puts a beautiful example. Shankaracharya is the author of this verse. Kubutro jayeda kojita bhikumada nabhavadi Kubutro jayeda it can happen that a son is very bad, very wicked, notorious. But even then, when he goes to the mother and calls her, my dear mother, she cannot but respond. He may be wicked, but his mother cannot be wicked. He cannot disown him. He cannot abandon him. This is happening in the case of human mothers and human children. What about you, my dear Goddess, the Divine Mother? The same quality should be in you more than 1,000 or a lakh number of times. So I have no fear, my dear Mother. I am still yours and I depend upon you. I look to you for protection and safeguard and I am sure you cannot deny it. So I am carefree. Anxiety free. I feel blessed, enriched, empowered, elevated and absolutely safe in your hands on your lap. Why did I recite this verse, my dear children? Only to make you understand that prayers may be of different kinds and worships also. You should choose the right kind of worship and the right kind of prayer. A prayer that gives you confidence Closeness with God. Never feel fearful and never keep distance. God or Goddess is present everywhere. So God surrounds you and He also is inside your body. He penetrates you. He is an all-filling presence. All-filling presence. If God is an all-filling presence, can you be separate or distant from him? No. Can he become separate or distant from you? No. 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 So feel closeness, oneness with God. As long as you are feeling this closeness and oneness, can you imagine the sense of safety you will have, freedom you will have, confidence you will have, resourcefulness you will have, it is endless, immeasurable. 